Hi, in this video, we look at the most simplest and easiest way to build AI agents in Python. We are going to use this framework called PyData. So what are AI agents? Agents are LLM powered knowledge assistants that use tools to perform specific tasks like doing research, doing data extraction and more. Using Python, you can build these agents from scratch or use a framework like PyData or OpenAI Swarm, LangGraph, Llama Index, and more. However, from my experience, I have found PyData to be the most simplest and easiest way to get started with AI agents. So when you visit PyData.com, you can see here, this is an open source platform to build, ship, and monitor agentic systems. This means you can build AI agents for different use cases, like a legal agent, financial analyst, construction analyst, marketing agent, and more. One great feature about PyData is you can choose any LLM from both open and closed LLM providers like OpenAI, Mistra, Anthropic, and more, and open source projects like Olama. It allows you to add your own knowledge base, so you can add a content from PDF file, JSON file, and also reference any website to find information from. Using PyData, you don't need to care about memory management because it is built in by default. This feature allows you to save chat history between agents and users. You can also add your own tools for different purposes. For example, creating an agent to make payment, another agent to search the web, and another one to make API call and more. So this is an open source tool, so you can use it to build any agent for any use case. To get started with FireData, you should go to Docs and do the necessary installation. Under this section, we have configuration for Mac and Windows. So in this example, we are going to build the agents with pure Python code using the Kesa AI code editor. First, we need to create a virtual environment with these commands. I have already done all the configurations. Next, you have to install FireData with this command. In this example, we are going to use OpenAI, so you need to install it as well. However, you can use FireData with any LLM provider like Mistra, Anthropic, and more. After installing FireData and OpenAI, the next thing is to export your OpenAI API key. This is done to store the key on your device. So after all these configurations, we can now go to Kesa and start creating our agent. In this video, we are going to create four different types of agents. You can see here, we have a financial agent, we have a multi-AI agent, reasoning agent, and web agent. Let's start with the web agent. A moment ago, I showed you how to install FireData and also OpenAI. So over here, we need to import them. Next, in order to allow the agent to do a web search, we are going to use DuckDuckGo. So we have to install it with the pip command. Let's go back to Kesa. Let's press Ctrl and Backtick to bring the integrated terminal. In this project, we can install DuckDuckGo with this command. Pip install DuckDuckGo search and press the return key. You can see here, I have it already installed. After installing DuckDuckGo, you import it this way to the project. Next, we create our web agent. With any agent you create using FireData, you can give different agent capabilities and characteristics. You can see here, we have all these properties we can add to the agent. So here we have the name of the agent, the model we want to use. In our case, we are going to use OpenAI GPT-40 Mini. Again, you can use any closed or open language model you want from different providers. Next, we equip the agent with tools. In our case, we are going to do a web search. So over here, we use DuckDuckGo. You should also provide instructions for any agent you create. So in this example, we want to include links for the information we obtain from the web. To get a nice output, we also set Markdown to True. And finally, we print the response. So the response consists of the prompt and whether you want to stream the response or not. Setting the stream parameter to true produces a typewriting effect when the AI agent is answering the prompt. So to create a basic AI agent using FireData, these are the three things you need to do. First, you make the necessary imports after doing all the required installations. Then you create an agent and specify its capabilities. Lastly, you call the agent and print your response by passing your prompt and whether you want to stream the output or not. 
We can now go ahead and run this file websearchagent.py by bringing the integrated terminal with control and backtick. Then we run it with Python tray followed by the file name and press the return key. You can see we now have the output. The agent is now thinking and shortly we will get all the output. So we now have information about the current US elections with all these related links. So this is how you can create a single agent using file data. Let's go to the next. We are going to create a finance agent. This is done in a similar way. Over here, we make all the necessary imports. You can see here, we are importing file data, OpenAI and Yahoo Finance. That is where we obtain the financial information from. So we need to install Yahoo Finance tools. We can do the installation by going to the terminal and installing it with this command pip install y finance i have it already installed so i'm not going to install it again so first i created a virtual environment and also added an end file to store my openai api key also i installed the python.env package so here we load the api key from the .env file and create a new finance agent in a similar way to the web agent we created previously. So we give a name to the agent and specify the model we want to use. So here we have GPT-40. Next, we give the model a specific tool. So here we are going to use Yahoo Finance tool. You can add all these properties. However, these are the most important ones we need. Next, we specify the instructions as we did previously. So we want to display the information in the tabular form. We show the two calls and display the output with markdown finally we print the response by specifying a prompt so we want to summarize the analyst recommendations for apple over here you can specify any company you want and the output will change we also stream the output as we did previously so let's go to the terminal and run the app i will bring the previous command and remove the file name then we put the financial agent and press the return key for some reason you can see yahoo finance is not installed so let's install it again with this command i did it previously i'll first clear the output and run the app again you can see here the agent is now thinking shortly we have the summary of information in the tabular form with everything being nicely displayed with markdown so both the previous and this agent are all single agents but we can combine them to build a team of agents that is what we are going to do in this file multi agent.py so here everything remains the same we make the necessary imports this agent consists of the web agent using DuckDuckGo and analyst for yahoo finance first we create a web agent as we did previously so here everything is the same as the code we have in the web search agent then we create the finance agent this sample code is also the same as the one we have in financialagent.py. Next, we create a multi-AI agent or a team agent to manage the two agents. So our team agent consists of the web search agent and finance agent. Since we have two agents in this example, you can see here we need to specify two instructions instead of one. So for the web search agent, we include sources as we did previously. And for the financial information, we display it in a tabular form. Then we display the output in Markdown. Finally, we need to print the output. So here, let's change the company to, for example, Apple and save the file. Then I'll bring the integrated terminal and run this file. I'll remove the file name and put multi agent.py. So we can now wait for a moment and get the output. So from the output, you can see here, we have the financial information. And over here, we have the web search with all these sources. So we have all these links for further information. So this is how you can build two or more agents in file data. In our final example, I want to show you how to build a reasoning agent in file data. So this is also very simple and compact code. We add only two required imports and specify our task. So in this example, we want to create a Swift UI view that allows users to switch between the tab bar and sidebar views 
using tab view and this modifier. Then we want to put the code in this Swift file. Tab sidebar.swift. Next, we should define our reasoning agent with all these properties. So we have the model. Then we set reasoning to true. You can see the previous agents did not have this property, reasoning. There are also several other properties we can add to the agent, but we will use only these ones. Lastly, we print the response, set stream to true, and also set show full reasoning to true. Let's run this file. You can see here the file name is reasoningagent.py. So let's bring the previous command and remove the file name. So our agent has started reasoning. Let's wait for a moment for the final result. For the reasoning agent, you can see here we have different steps. Step 1 consists of analyze the requirements. Then we have a second step. That is the basic structure. Next, we have the implementation and adding the sidebar. Then we have a last step that is about validating the implementation. Then we have the actual code. Since we set markdown to true, you can see here we have a well formatted code. The reasoning agent also gives explanation to the various sections of the code. So this is how you can build your own AI agents using FiData. I showed you how to build different kinds of agents. We started with the web agent, then we built a financial agent. We put the two agents together to build a multi-agent. And finally, we built a reasoning agent. We just scratched the surface of FiData in building AI agents to learn more I encourage you to visit their website, go to the docs and try the different examples. Thanks for watching this video.